If you have been working with public models, but they're not working that well with your documents, you can train a custom Transcribus text recognition model. And in this video, I will give you a quick guide on how you can do that. Before training a model, you need to prepare your training data. And to do that, you'll need around 40 to 50 pages of images of brown truth. And that means pages with correct transcriptions to train the Transcribus AI. For printed text, you might need less pages because printed text is more standardized. A quick way to come up with this much training data is to use a public model first, then correct the mistakes, save the changes and mark the pages as ground truth. For a refresher on public models, please watch one of our previous videos on using the automatic text recognition. Once your pages are correctly transcribed, it's time to train your model. So let's go to the model workspace and click train new model and then choose the text recognition model. Another window will open with the four main steps to train the model. The first step is called training data and the training data is the set of examples used to set the model's parameters. So you can think of these images of being shown to the AI software as the correct way of transcribing this type of text. So open your collection and then choose the document you want to train the model with. Then we'll go to the next step. And the next step is the validation data. This is the set of examples that will provide an unbiased evaluation. So they will not be included in the model itself, but they will be used to calculate the accuracy during the training process. We recommend here that you use 10% of your transcriptions um, for the validation set. Then the next step is the model setup. And here you can add metadata, including the model name, description, languages and time span. So let's add a name, we'll call it Marjorie handwriting and just add this to the description too. Now let's set the language and the time span and we'll leave it at that for now. Now the last step in the training process provides an overview of the model configuration and here you can check all the details. And after you've checked them, simply click on start training to begin the training. After the custom model has finished training, you can find it in the dashboard of the models workspace. If you want to learn about training models in more detail, for example, about the advanced parameters, please take a look at this page in our help center called training text recognition models. Thank you and see you next time.